yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, what up, y'all? What up, y'all? This your boy ALC the One, baby. ALC the One to be exact, that is A K A Illmatic One Two Four, and not the mother sucking gang numbers, man. But my actual jersey number I wore when I was in high school, and my warm up jerseys right on the back of my mother sucker chair at the crib. Hey, what's up to my LC Nation, man? My LC gang and my LC crew. Hey, what's going on out there in the land where you live and you did? But hey, man, we back, man, with a not a reaction. Well, somewhat like a reaction. You did what I'm talking about, man. And this is my reaction to BJ Armstrong saying that he wish he could have had footage of Michael Jordan when they was practicing. Okay, say what? Shut up. But listen, man. Cut the music. Listen, man. <clears throat> now, BJ Armstrong, man. I just looked at an interview. It was an interview from last year sometime. And um, BJ was talking about how rigorous the practices was with Michael Jordan, man. I could turn this into a mud bang. He was saying, man, when Mike was playing... For the Chicago Bulls. He was like. The practices was very intense. And as you know. He did get into a fisticuff. With Steve Kerr. Okay. Now BJ Armstrong was before Steve Kerr's time. Now I can imagine. Okay. In that first 3 P era. How intense the practices were. Because. It was a different style of basketball back then. Well, in that first three P. And then you had real competition. Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Isaiah Thomas, Dominique Wilkins, Charles Barkley, Clyde Drexler, Carl Malone, John Stockton, a whole cast of players. Now BJ was saying when Mike and I was in practice it pretty much was like it was parallel to them playing a real game. Alright? He was like man Mike would go so hard and he said even if he lose in practice that would, that would be a down on him and he would go harder and harder because he liked to win. Very competitive dude, man. He liked winning. Okay? I'm the same type of way. And I got a lot of that from watching Mike. Okay? Everybody wants to be like Mike. Especially if you were playing basketball. But it transcended into other things. Now, in the business world, he's a entrepreneur. You know? And very successful with that. Businessman. And, you know, his... Brand has been successful for almost 20 years plus. So who would want to be like Mike? In all aspects. You know, he was a great athlete. A great, well, he's a great business person. You know, he's very smart. You know, so why are you going to knock him? And plus, you're a black man. You know, in this, in this world, you know, th it's hard to be successful as a black man. Especially in Chicago. And he was here. He's not even from here, but he knew how it was when he was here. You know, I'll never forget when the city begged the Chicago Bulls organization, their stockholders or whoever, to pay that man. I'll never forget when Michael Jordan stopped talking to the media for damn near a whole year. Okay? I'll never forget a lot of stuff that they did to Michael Jordan, man, that is uh, swept up under the rug and don't get mentioned. But, but I learned from that brother, man, because he's my mentor, my opinion leader. He stayed humble, and he kept going hard until he got to what, what until he got where he wanted to be, until he accomplished all the goals that he was trying to accomplish. You know, and then he got to the point where he was like, man, I don't even need it no more. 
because it's not you know it's not com it's not competition it's not competitive to me you know I dominated it you know I don't I don't, I don't need it you know, he left basketball well as a as a player now I understand what he's doing now he's he dominating as a as an owner you know and um man Mike is what's happening whether you like it or not hey love it the underdogs on top and I'm gonna shine until my heart stops go ahead and envy me I'm the world's MVP you did that's what they chant MVP Michael Jordan baby and uh but BJ he was saying some real stuff man and that made that made him a champion it brought the best out of BJ and I remember those years man when Mike left it was all BJ Armstrong Scotty Pippen and you seen it you know those were his prodigies man you know, everybody that played with him. Horace Grant took that to Orlando, uh, to the Lakers. You know, Steve Kerr took that to San Antonio. You know, everywhere Bulls went, Scotty went to Portland. He did the same thing. I'm not just holding the man jock. I'm just saying. One individual can change a situation. Simple, man. One individual can change a whole situation, man. And for the better or for the worse you know you gotta have good people involved in your business your organization if you wanna be successful in this world man especially as a business person man but I had to drop some jewels man because BJ was sitting down with I don't know who the interviewer was you know, and what network she was from, but it was on YouTube, man. And I, I, I didn't even know that. And, and BJ had been a part of the Bulls organization for a very long time. Him, John Passman, all the players that was around, Mike. You understand me? All part of the Bulls organization now: Stacey King, Scotty Pippen, Bill Winnington, BJ Armstrong, John Paxson. They still there. Will Purdue, you know, and that's all the credit to Michael Jordan because if Mike wasn't around, I don't care how you look at it. If he wasn't around, or he didn't play with the Chicago Bulls and win, none of them guys would have no jobs right now. I'm, I'm just being brutally honest right now. It was all due to Michael Jordan, man. Well, get credit what credit do. His work ethic was great. You know, it started from practice. It started from home. That's why I was telling people it's, it's the individuals that raise you, man. My father instilled good values in us, man, to work hard. Because he worked hard. You know, my uncle BJ, he worked hard. His kids worked hard. You know, you know it's like, man, my whole family, we work hard as hell. You know, so it's like, man, that comes, you know, that shows, you know. My daughter is still those values, man. She know how to work hard, you know, but and but, but work smart, you know. So it's like that's all it takes. One individual can change a whole situation, man. And I know the company I work for, man. I know they appreciate what I'm doing, my service, man. I'm going on 12 years. I'm about to have 13. Well, I'm about to have 13 next year. And um, I had my whole career, this career. After Michael Joy, man, I seen the way he did it in this city. You know, his work ethic. I did the same thing. I started my company, published my music. Now I'm doing a YouTube for y'all. You dig? But yeah, it is what it is. Shout out to BJ Armstrong, man, for saying some real stuff. Cause they be they be slandering my man Mike in the pub. They say a lot of bad stuff about me too. I don't care. The more successful you get, the more haters you gonna breed. And that's what it is, man. But at the end of the day. If your money's stacking up and your finances are looking good, that's what it's all about. You feel me? We finna get up out of here, man. Hey, this your boy LC the one, baby. LC the one, to be exact, that is. A K A Illmatic one. Two four. And not the mother sucking game numbers, man. But my actual jersey number I wore when I was in high school. And my warm up jerseys on the back of my mother sucker chair at the crib. Like I always say, man, keep it pimping and the voice slipping.
because they will get your motherfucking ass if you slip on that motherfucking banana peel. You dig what I'm talking about, man? And like I always say, man, trust the Reverend God. We're going before we leave. Shout out to my LC Nation, my LC Gang, and my LC Crew. I need to like this video. Share this video. Comment on this video, man. And most importantly of all, man, subscribe to my YouTube channel, man. And turn that notification bell button on. Ding. To get more exclusive, dope content from a pimp play against a hustler all about minds, baby. And like I always say, man, trust me, God, we're going to five, a four, a three, a two, a one, church. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey man, I'm just gonna keep it 100 with y'all, man. That's for all y'all niggas out there, man. Yeah. I'm saying I ain't the OG, the original. Yeah. Hey man, use a duplicate. Yeah. Use a duplicate. Use a duplicate, nigga. Yeah. Use a duplicate, nigga. Use a duplicate. He's a dude, nigga, and I'm a vision, no motherfucking OG, nigga. Yeah, don't forget to get your custom t-shirts, you dig what I'm talking about from LC to one. You see the custom prints all over the shirt, you dig what I'm talking about. We ain't playing no game. The custom sweater, you dig what I'm talking about, yeah. Uh-huh. With the back end print on the same. I got the t-shirts as well. You did unisex, long sleeve. You dig now we got the full zip up. You dig what I'm talking about. Straight up with the hood on it. Straight up with the back print as well. You dig what I'm talking about. We ain't playing no game. And then I got the full zip up. Custom with the pockets on it and stuff. You dig what I'm talking about. Back printing, sleeve and print. You dig what I'm talking about. Print everywhere then I got the yoga pants you dig on top joggers you dig on talking about for men and I got the crop new t-shirts for the ladies you dig on talking about look at that she look comfortable in it uh-huh then I got the sports bra you dig on talking about get the sports bra you dig on talking about the back print print you dig on talking about the back print print you dig on talking about we ain't playing no game and then I got the yoga pants for the ladies you dig on talking about biker booty shorts you dig on talking about for that Put that piece can round out. You dig on time about then I got the, the yoga leggings. You dig on time about flay. So when she jogging and everything, and I got the capris right there with the custom LC right between the thighs. You dig and I got the, the custom socks. You dig on time about you ain't gonna find no more socks like that nowhere on the planet. And then last but not least, I got the LC the one jersey. You dig on time about then I got the back print on there. Look at that back print, look good. Then I got the Illmatic one, my street ball jersey with the two fold on it. And then I got the little sleeve pull up bag right there for the ladies. You dig on draw screen back and then I got the real backpack you know what I'm talking about LC the one look at the back look at the front you think I look at the top you think I'm talking about everything is looking good you think I'm talking about in LC the one's neighborhood and then I got the X Star iPhone 10 case you think I'm talking about and then I got the iPhone 6 case 7 8 9 let's order what you want and then I got the custom print you think I'm talking about LC the one baby and then I got the custom mug and when you want to get drunk and drink and stuff to my stream and then I got the snuggle Pillow when you want to get snuggled with your lady, yeah.